hello friends welcome to another microcontroller programming lesson and in this lesson i'm going to show you how to use proteus design suite to test and debug your stm32 microcontroller project so in this lesson we will going to first design the proteus project so it's like we will going to design stm32 simulation model and then we will going to write the actual embedded c code for stm32 microcontroller using stm32 cube ide and then we will going to blink the led and that will show you the exact capability of proteus software to work with stm32 microcontroller project so even if you have even if you don't have the actual physical hardware stm32 nucleo board you can still be able to use proteus software and test and debug all your microcontroller projects on the proteus so without uh, wasting our time let's go to file click on new project in top left corner and then you can see it asks us to give some name i would like to give the name as a uh, blinky keep it simple then click on browse and i'm going to select the location as a desktop and i'm going to create a fresh new project right click say new and click on folder and i'm going to give the name to the folder stm32 project folder okay and then i have to select the folder and then click on select folder and you can see the path sets up and then click on next next again next once again next and then click on finish and this will basically give us a blank schematic sheet where we can place our components and design our simulation model with stm32 microcontroller now you can see in the left pan there is this icon which says p that's basically to pick the devices so click on this p icon here and then under the search keyword we have to search for stm32 f103 and then you can see stm32 f103 c6 component shows up i'm going to use this microcontroller and then click on ok and you can see under the list this stm32 f103 microcontroller shows up again we need one more component so click on this p again icon and then search for led yellow i love color yellow and then you can see led yellow active led with animated led model so i'm going to select the animated which looks a little bit beautiful so i'm going to select this yellow led and then click on ok and then you can see now i have the microcontroller and i have the led as a component so i'm going to select the microcontroller first under the devices list once you select then you have to take your mouse cursor and then place it on onto the sheet schematic sheet and then just click and you can see the component will be placed onto the schematic now you can zoom in using mouse and you can able to see the part or maybe the pin names okay and then we need the led so i'm going to select the led under the device list and then once you select the led then just take your cursor onto the schematic sheet and then click here and you can see the component led shows up i'm going to place it here okay so i'm going to connect the pa5 pin of the stm32 microcontroller to the led okay and then we have to go to this terminals and then i'm going to select the power vcc and then place it here okay and then i'm going to connect this to the power terminal so double click on this power terminal and just give plus 3.3 volt because this stm32 microcontroller operates on 3.3 volts so we're going to select that and then we need one power terminal one more power terminal here and then we need one more ground here so i'm going to place it and then i'm just going to wire up here okay similarly for the ground okay and then i'm going to select the label here in the left pan here so select the label double click on the label and give the name to vdda that's basically the vcc plus 3.3 volt and then for the ground terminal double click and then say vssa that's basically for the negative ground and just double click on this um, you know power terminal and give it a name plus 3.3 volt 
okay and then say okay and you are done with your proteus design file now don't forget to save your project so click on save project and you are done now to design the microcontroller project we're going to use stm32 cube ide i'm going to create a fresh new project go to file click on new and select stm32 project this will take few seconds and you see it gives us the part number we have to put stm32 f103 and i'm going to select f103 c6 because that's the microcontroller we have selected in proteus so select the part number stm32 f103 c6 and then click on next and then you say you see it shows up the stm32 project wizard give it a name i'm going to give the name as a blinky because we want to blink the led then click on next and then it gives us this other information we don't care basically click on finish and it basically sets up the project under the stm32 cube ide so it takes a couple of seconds or minutes depends once the project sets up under the cube ide you can see we have been given here the pin layout for the stm32 microcontroller and since if you remember in our proteus we have used the pa5 pin so i will click on this pa5 just click on pa5 and select the gpio output because led is an output device right and if we want to blink the led we have to configure this pa5 pin into the output mode so that's basically this pa5 then you can go to uh, system core and uh, maybe you can go to rcc if you want and then um, high speed clock just select the crystal ceramic resonator whatever and then once it is done then click here so you can see everything is done basically then just save the project so click on the save and you see it says do you want to generate a code yes we want to create so click on yes yes again and it will set up the project and create a main.c file for us and then we will going to write a code to blink the led now if i scroll down then i can able to see there is this super loop that's basically the while loop that's some people call it as a super loop i would rather call it as a never ending while loop and i'm going to write the logic here so how underscore gpio control space and uh, i want to write because i want to turn on the led write pin and then say gpio a and then pin underscore five because led is connected to pa5 and then we then have to pass the third parameter gpio control space and then say gpio pin set so this will turn on the led then we have to say hall underscore delay and uh, we have to give the delay so control space and then we select the delay and i want to give it the delay of 500 milliseconds so that's half a second and then i'm going to copy this code and then paste it down below because i don't want to waste the time to keep the tutorial simple short and then we have to say reset so this line basically turn on the led connected to pa5 pin then wait for half a second then turn off the led by reset the pin and then wait for half a second and basically because this logic is written into the while loop so this bit of code will going to blink the led continuously right now we need a hex file to upload onto the proteus simulation model so we have to uh, right click on the project okay then go to properties and then we have to basically come under c and c plus plus build tools and uh, here you can able to see the settings and under the settings you have this mcu post build output and we have to check this convert to intel hex file this is very important and remember it is under c and c plus plus build you have to select the settings and under settings you have to go to tool settings and then you have mcu post build tools output and then check this box to generate the hex file and then say apply and close and then we have to click on this build icon here on the top corner and uh, let's see if we have any error i hope there would not be any error or warnings 
and I'm lucky enough today and you see there's a zero error and zero warnings so there must be the hex file generated if you want to make sure you have to go to the C drive so C drive users user then go to cube IDE workspace and this is the project blinky and under the debug we have this blinky.hex file and we need to put this hex file into the proteus uh, design and then we can see that led starts blinking so let's go to the proteus and here is our simulation model double click on the stm32 f103 c6 chip and then you see program files and then click on this folder icon and then we have to go to the path again into c drive users um, Chaitadi and then cube IDE workspace this is the project blinky under debug you have this blinky.x file so select the x file click on open and then click on ok and in the lower left corner you see there's a play button here so when you click on this play button okay and you see this LED starts blinking right with half a second you can see it's the animation now I can stop this simulation model because I proved my point now even if you don't have the actual STM32 nuclear board you can still be able to use this Proteus and design your simulation model then use STM32 cube IDE write your embedded C code for STM32 microcontroller and test it I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining we're going to create a new and more sophisticated projects in the future using stm32 cube ide and the proteus software so stay tuned to the videos bye bye for now